Hello, friends, and welcome to this confusing and ambiguous podcast. Um, I'm going to try not to be, but maybe I am. Who knows? I'm talking about music, talking about music that I love, music that I that I still listen to, uh, old music, new music, music that I've just recently discovered, anything that's good. And this is a band that is from the 80s that I always loved. I still love them. Um, but I got so excited when this album came out because I really liked their first albums, their first couple of albums. And when this one came out, this was their third album, I felt like this was more of what I liked about them. It, it was like they had sort of pushed what they were into a higher gear. And this is such a classic album. And uh, it came out in 1986. And if you were into music around that time, I think you probably have this record. You might have it. Um, it's a it's a band called the Chameleons, and they are from the UK. So unfortunately, there was a band in America, I believe, called the Chameleons. So they had to sort of like the you know the the English Beat had to change their name to the English Beat because there was another band called the Beat. Uh, the Chameleons had to change their name to the Chameleons UK because they're from the UK, and they had to differentiate themselves from the Chameleons US or whatever. Anyway, the Chameleons were a great sort of hard post-punk post band, pop band that played kind of heavy music, almost like anthemic music. There was a lot of that going around back then with bands like Big Country and whatever, but and uh, The Alarm and bands like that. But um, to me, the Chameleons kind of had that that feel of like uh, street level rock um, pop. The songwriting is incredible. The lyrics are great. They are a a complete full full capacity. You know everything you could possibly want in a good pop band. The bass player, drummer, guitars, the singing, the lyrics, the songwriting particularly is incredible. Um, great songs that don't sound dated you know they don't sound they don't sound like uh something from a uh, 80s nostalgia tv commercial <laughs> it sounds like something you would hear right now if you went to a, a club where a real band was playing you know <laughs> if there's such a thing <laughs> um but this one has mad jack it's got uh, so many things on here that were you know swamp thing tears so many great songs on here that uh, that were that were big in the circles of people I knew. Anyway, we we all played in bands, and we you know when this came out, this was a this was a this one went around. Everybody had this. When you go to people's houses and you saw their LPs on the floor, you know this was always right on the front. And when you pick it up, it was empty because the record is on the turntable. Um, it's it's a great album. It's uh, it's heavy the the um, heavy pop. Uh, Mark Burgess is credited on here as Birdie, I think, and um, Mark Burgess is the is the singer bass player of the band. Uh, the same way Sting is in uh, the Police. Uh, this guy played bass and sang, and um, Reg Smithies plays guitar. John Lever plays drums. Uh, Dave Fielding plays uh, guitar and keys, and um, together they are the Chameleons on this album, which I highly recommend. It's, it's like I said, some people compare it to U2 because it kind of has that driving, um, and I use that word anthemic again because it's the kind of music where you you just feel compelled to sing along with the choruses. You know, the, the, a lot of times the chorus will have this this great, uh, almost like a chanting, uh, driving um, chorus, and just great guitar playing on here. Sometimes they call it dream pop. This may be a very early example of such a thing because the guitars have that kind of wide, expansive, reverberated uh, presence, and uh, the, the bass guitar has a bit of effect on it, so it really stands out. Um, the singing is rough and ragged and and full of emotion and and just great great stuff great songwriting um, I know have I said that 
It's great songwriting. Um, highly recommended. The Chameleons UK. This album is called Strange Times. And the album cover art is done by an artist that they had do a lot of their album covers. There's things that you see across several of their albums. Um, anyway, I recommend this one. Go seek it out. It's a it's a it's a classic. It's a classic. It's a it's a 1986 classic. I love it. Anyway, I'm gonna try to do that. Try to bring uh, attention to some albums that I really liked, but feel like you know didn't get the don't get enough attention. You don't see people talking about them all that much these days. But uh, I believe the Chameleons are still out there playing. Um, as far as I know, as of this uh, recording, um, they're still out there. It's, you know, if you look, check out their Wikipedia page, it says years active, and it says you know whenever to present. So it's it's um, I believe they might be still out there playing. Hopefully, they're having fun doing it and making new songs. And and uh, they've got some newer albums. They they still put out albums every so often. But uh, yeah, check out Strange Times. That's a that's a classic. I love it. Thanks for watching. Take care.